Welcome back to the fall. Last time, we were just about to solve this puzzle. Now, it's not terribly complicated. We happened to pick up this shoe cover designed to keep things clean. Well, maybe it can keep the scanner clean without us cleaning the room, because there's no way in hell that we're cleaning all of this. I'm done. I have completed the task. Evaluating. And look at that. It can't scan through and find all the dust. I can breathe again. Get You're a piece of wood. Validated. Merit point awarded. Ding. I love how cheesy that sound is, because it's like this is we're a military droid in a refurbishment facility, but that's just ping. All aspects of food service are part of a domestic droid's duties. A well-functioning droid belongs in the kitchen. You Growing it, robot. everything. Get my son something to eat. Make it delicious and nutritious. Exit the house and proceed to the grocery store. How about your head? I will re Alright, grocery store. Just across the way, not terribly difficult to get to. However, not the smoothest route. Come on. You think you can kill me? You're wrong. Neither can you. That's not polite at all. Let's see if we can get this one with stealth. Oh, yeah. And that gets us a little bit of shield back. Small power box. Interesting. Mostly functional, but one of the wires is broken. Alright, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find food here. Place has been ransacked. If there was ever anything useful here, it's not here now. I pretty much expected that. What's this? A glass pane. Fragile. Oh god, that's a corpse. Some type of slug like creature is up there as well. It doesn't seem to like light. Come back, little slug like creature. Haha. <laughs> a gold coin. We can grab that. And another drop of blood. Die, mysterious slug like creatures. Nobody likes giant slugs. There appear to be many. I cannot effectively reduce their number. That's unfortunate. I can't drop them away. They don't like light, apparently. Hmm. So we've got a gold coin. I'm guessing that does not count as food. Our only option, then, is to check upstairs. I'm not sure why some security droids come out and some don't. I'm also not sure why they assume I'm hostile. I think the Overseer probably has something to do with that. What's around here? Elevator call button. Unpowered. Activated. Hey, hey, things are really coming along. I am completing if you say so. efficiently. Groovy. Efficiently. Groovy. To sound like you. Perhaps your vocal matrix requires maintenance. Thank you for the recommendation. Internal scan initiated. Uh, no. Internal scan aborted. I've spent the better part of these last 30 years perfecting my authentic... 30 years? Where I can. Since I'm guessing humans wouldn't like that, that's 30 years without any oversight by humans. Why do you attempt to at least human grammar and tonality? Because I wonder we get to them, what happened here. Get treated like them. And I've been bored. <laughs> been bored this is a good reason. has no power. I will not be able to initiate the tests here. Please utilize your generator so I may proceed. Oops. I'm sorry. The power for the speaker is not sufficient to activate the civic testing area. That's a shame. I must return to my current task. One thing. Why do you think you're here? 
I have no idea. I do not know. Makes you wonder. Relatively small facility in an ever expanding relatively galaxy. abandoned if I facility. Were malfunctioning, I would have been sent to a military grade facility, not a domestic repurposing depot. Not accusing, just saying. Nobody previously ended up here if they were working to spec. Irrelevant. Totally. Like I mentioned last episode though, um this game gets really in depth with what it means to be alive. And, like we saw there, Morley has had so long alone, just left to his own devices, that he started changing himself and, I think, becoming more alive. He said himself more like a human. Brian Gibson, it has been brought to my attention that you are still refusing to clean the small fungal infestation growing in the training course ducts. I take no pleasure in informing you that, since there is no real physical danger, refusing to perform your duties in this regard will necessitate your replacement as head of maintenance. I have read your formal complaint, and Domesticon understands your concern, but this situation does not qualify as probable danger under our policy terms. It is true that this strain of fungus can secrete a corrosive acid when threatened, and these colonies have been known to develop connected root structures but be assured that there is no genuine hazard. It is not possible for a human to trigger their defensive response. A fungus only reacts to the fungus rather only reacts to the pheromones of its natural predators, and hive slugs will not come anywhere near the facility due to their extreme dislike of bright light. You are a valued member of the Domesticon family, and you are perfectly safe. Consider this a written notice. Camilla Wilson GM Interesting. Now, that little notice there was that we can go to the log section to look at the logs we found. Only the one. But earlier, we were logging recommendations for self-termination. They were deleted since we decided that we had actually done the right thing, but I wonder what that says about our uh, proper function. I'm not sure we're totally there. An old ID tag reader. And a flat panel. Screen. <laughs> flat panel! Oh my god, it's so unusual and noteworthy. No, that's a screen. So, what's on this floor to expect? Unpowered terminal, scanner, something. Another wooden person, unpowered terminal, elevator. So these are the mushrooms, I'm guessing, the fungus that that note talked about. A wooden person with old, an old man with stained overalls. An ancient vehicle, very mechanically simple. Looks like a car to me. And while I know approximately how they work, I wouldn't call them simple. Another wooden person. This child is covered in fungus. Last of us, anyone? Unpowered. A large fungal cluster. Lovely. And a group of wooden people. Looks like this is going to be the final test. And a hand scanner of some sort. That's a bit unusual how the flashlight actually obscures it if I'm close enough. That's sort of what I was talking about with the interaction in this game. Sometimes being a little difficult to get used to. You really can't be too close to what you want to interact with. Elevator. Well, now we have a wire. We beat that golden coin into the shape of a wire. So let's try putting it in here and seeing what we get. Well, one of three. For 30 years with no oversight, that's not terrible. Isn't that lovely? So what do we have? A decayed hand? Yeah, the sinews are separating. I'll be delicate with it. A decayed head. Still a little meat left. Can you see where this is going? And the drop of blood. Lovely. 
No. More security droids. Where are you fuckers coming from? Stop attacking me. You have no reason to attack me. Hmm, alright. That looks like all of them. So, what do we have now? We've got a human head. I wonder, will the child enjoy that? I sure hope so, because that's kind of all we've got. All aspects of food service are part of a domestic droid's duties. A well-functioning droid belongs in the kitchen. Where's my food, robot? Up yours. I have completed the task. Evaluating. Processing. Source of sufficient protein detected. Nom nom nom. Validated. Merit nom nom avoided. nom. Yeah, enjoy that, you filthy cannibal. Okay. And there's one more test upstairs. Let's see what it is. Palm print DNA scanner. Well, we've got a DNA palm. It's not attached to a living human anymore, but it's good enough. Empty glass jar. Another crucifix. Hmm. Another body. Older and has decayed significantly. Well, let's see what we have to do here. Humans should not concern themselves with basic needs. This room will test I disagree, to assess but their okay. Humans' requirements when they do not know what they want. An upset baby will emerge from the crib. Without physical contact, comfort the child to make it stop crying. You have 20 seconds per attempt, and multiple attempts are permitted. Well, that's nice. One of the few where are not killed on the first failure. Why is there another corpse here, Morley? I discovered another hung body. What has happened to the humans who ran this facility? The well, clearly they're dead. Modifications. Depurposed humans? Evaluations. You, and likely your human, will be depurposed. I will yep. not allow that. Continue your evaluation. Well, we can't deal with a baby right now, unfortunately. Return. So let's try out this ladder, see where it takes us. Hmm, the kill tube for the cleaning room test. It is damaged and ready to break. A damaged and rusty bracket. Large fungal cluster, species of which we are not aware. Computer terminal, that sounds useful computer terminal with log files pertaining to the various tasks associated with the tests. Child care. The infant's microphone? Alright, so I'll just read this whole thing. I sort of started in the middle. Status. All systems normal. Maintenance instructions. The infant's microphone, processor, and transceiver should be checked for degradation on a bi-monthly basis. I'm guessing they haven't had time to do that. Description. When an infant emerges from the crib, it will begin emitting an auditory signal, which the test panel receives. Participants must relay a particular melody to suppress this signal. The requirement, the required melody will be randomly selected from the lullaby databank when the test is initiated. If the participant succeeds in suppressing the infant's auditory signal within the allotted time frame, they will be validated. Okay. Food preparation, even though we're done. All systems normal. Maintenance instructions. The food area should be sterilized after every test. This is an appropriate task for the caretaker droid. Standard scanner maintenance is sufficient for this test. The kitchen scanner is calibrated to detect animal protein. Theoretically, a false reading could be relayed if the food site were contaminated. However, probability testing suggests that this is extremely unlikely. We take pride in the sterility of our testing environments. Cleaning. All systems normal. This scanner must be cleaned daily to ensure no false negatives. The dust must be reapplied between testing sessions. The enhancements made to the caretaker droid have increased it sufficiently exponentially. These are appropriate tasks for it. 
the scanner head of the, for this test is calibrated to pick up minute traces of dust in the environment. Any particulate matter, stationary or suspended, will result in termination. Our clients expect the highest standard of cleanliness in their homes. And beautification. All systems normal. Standard scanner maintenance is sufficient for this test. Mainframe connection to this terminal must also be ensured. Beautification tests. The reten oh, all right, that was just terrible reading on my part. Beautification tests the retention of aesthetic patterns, pattern imprints. Properly calibrated domestic droids will choose flowers that match the current seasonal colors. The system's date is set via direct uplink to the facility's mainframe. If this connection is broken, the date can be set manually from here. Current setting is summer pink. Well, if we can change it manually, if there's no connection, let's remove that connection. That was easy. Manually set the date. Autumn orange, winter purple. Well, that's what we've got. You may remember there were purple flowers in the kitchen, so let's leave that there. Okay. What is this stuff here? Standard superconductive fluid. That sounds useful. How do you have superconductive fluid, though? As far as I know, most superconductors need to be cooled to near absolute zero before they start superconducting. Alright. Hey, Levi. Levi. <laughs> Levi. Oh, it's not a gene. Paragenes. What am I talking about? If Miss Wilson wants to run this place into the ground, that's her call, I guess. But if the main boards don't get enough superconductive fluid, they will burn out, and the domestic con artists... <laughs> that's a clever pun. The domestic con artists won't be happy. Fluid's way cheaper than hardware. Apply the superconductive fluid to the circuitry until it glows bright red. Turn the lights off if you have to. When you've done it properly, the main board will light up like Wilson's angry face. Thanks, man. Let me know if you have any questions. Brian. Alright. That'll probably come in handy, knowing that superconductive fluid makes things glow bright red. Small power generator, which has been switched off. Let's switch it on. Thank god it still has fuel. And now we've got power upstairs. Isn't that useful? Well, these things don't appear to be anything. And another hand scanner. Let's apply our hand to it again. <laughs> That's funny, the little splat. Oh man. Good good sound design really is something. The critical portion of your examination will test your capacities in unfamiliar and less predictable interactions. Remember, okay. All humans are your superior, not only those who own your serial code and kill switch. Does this process require acquisition of all possible merit points? Yes. I think so, Aaron. Four domestic, then four more from these civic tests. Once you've got them all, I can let you through to the medical equipment. Hmm. Well, we're at 18 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up here and continue with the civic tests in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. This has been The Fall, and we will see you next time.